All right, so these just came out of the oven. They seem to be done, so what I do is I'll literally take one, pull it apart, and there it is. This is beautiful. Right. When not it. doughy, not wet, and it's certainly not dry. Okay, so now we're gonna give these a taste test. Pick one. Mm, I want that one. You want that one? All right, you want me to give you a cut? Yes. All right. Now, this, I'm not even putting any weight on that knife. All right? So. All right. Smells yeah. super buttery. So what we're gonna look for, do we have nice, even, consistent golden color. Yeah, for the yeah. most part. Now, I don't know if you can pick this up on the video. The egg is a little bit shiny, all right? Mm -hmm. The milk, it caramelized, but it's not shiny. Yeah. Can you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Now, some of these guys are flaky as all get out. You could absolutely see the flakes, you know? So let's take a peek. I'm gonna pull one apart. So what did we say? And you can see the voids, you see these empty spaces? The best way to do this is with my pen. See these little nooks and crannies, like in here? Yeah. That's where your chunks of butter were. Uh, That's part of the key to the flakiness. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. So, okay. now, literally go like that. Is it light? Oh yeah. Right, okay. So you can see the kind of chartreuse golden color. That's the ingredients, especially the butter. And no, I didn't sneak an egg yolk in there. <laughs> All right. You could smell it. Now, you want to taste the caramelization of the outside. Mm -hmm. A little bit nutty. Mm -hmm. Balance of salt, balance of sugar. Balls are caught in my mouth. Of course. Mm. Wow. That is tender. I mean that is oh, not yeah. you don't get you don't get biscuits like this outside of that little roll. It's like look at it, it's just like layers. You see the layers? Mm -hmm. That's it. It's nice. And I think folks that have never done it before. They are intimidated, and they think it's going to be a lot of work, but it's actually... Like you, nothing almost. Yeah. And the thing is, if you had to do this every day in a restaurant, wouldn't you stay 24 hours ahead so these would go into the fridge, be nice and rested, pull them out as you need them, wash them, get them into the oven as needed? I mean, seems easy enough. It does. It does. So, biscuit mixing method. Tell me, real quick, um, what can you remember? Okay, so first, all the ingredients are cold. Good. Including the bowl after it's washed, of course. Right. Um, and then you put the flour, sift it like two or three times. With what? Um, flour? The flour, the chemical... Leavener? Salt, yeah, the chemical right. leavener. Um, the salt. Right. And the sugar. Bingo! And then you take half of the butter. Right. And you put it into the mixer. Right. And you do it until you can't feel the chunks anymore. Cut it in, right, dry yeah. mix. And then, then you, obviously your other half is in the fridge while it's mixing. Right. And you take that other half and you put it in, and then you mix it until they're pea size. Oh, and bless then, you girl. <laughs> and then once they're pea size, then you put them into a bigger bowl so that you can right. see what you're doing. And then you add your buttermilk or heavy cream, whatever it is. Right. And if you saw what I was doing, would you want to do it all by yourself, or would you like to have somebody there conveniently to pour for you? Um, I mean, it's convenient, but right. I mean, you could do it if you needed to. Right, no doubt, no but doubt. Yeah. And then you just mix it until it's moist, and then you roll it up, pat it, fold it, roll it up. Right. And you've got to be conscious of how much agitation that rolling pin is giving it, because the rolling pin does stimulate the glue. Yeah. And 
We kept everything cold. Yes. Kept ourselves gloved. Bench was sanitized. Bowl and paddle was sanitized. And nothing got into the temperature danger zone. They did. These guys did not linger after they were made. They went Straight from the, the bench way. to the oven. Yep. And the demos, they went from the fridge to the pan to the oven. Mm -hmm. So there was no temperature danger zone lingering. Great job. I think you did good. Thank you, folks.